Hey guys, today we want to talk to you a little bit about rigging up. And it doesn't matter if it's sculpin, rockfish, ling cod. It's that time of year, you know, the rockfish season here in Southern California, or most California, opens up here in March. And uh, you should always check your local regulations before you go fishing. But standing next to me is Big Rich with double A soft plastics. He's going to go over some rigs, some rigs I like to use, some rigs he likes to use. And we're going to talk a little bit about them. Thanks for joining us, man. No problem. Thank you. So what do you got for us? I got a double dropper loop rig. I usually try to put the big one on, on the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, catch a big lean cod, or even a scoping to hit this, a big nice scoping oh, to hit this. Yeah, big scoping will eat that. And with this one, you get some reds a little higher, even a salmon grouper. Uh, to space them far enough apart? Space them far enough apart so when they're bringing them up, they don't get oh. all tangled up. Mm -hmm. And it gives a better, better view for the fish to decide what they want. And what I like about using the bucktails too, um, if you put on a straight hook and you put a, a piece of squid or put an anchovy on there, once a fish picks that bait off, you have no chance of catching a fish. Yes. But if he has a bucktail on, even without a tail on there, or the soft plastics, at least if the bait comes off, you still have a chance. But this is a way to make your bucktail, a little one ounce bucktail, look like a much bigger bait, more attractive to the bigger rockfish and the big sculpin. Yes, yes. And the different baits here, do you have a preference or do you just like to try different baits when you're out there? Well, I, I mostly start off with the Baby Puss. The Baby Puss is one of Double A's original baits. It's been out for a while. Uh, greens, browns, whites always work good. Uh, if that doesn't work, go down to the Monarch Grub. You love the big that, one. Those always work. You love the big one. This yeah. little one catches plenty of fish too. Yeah. Then we also have the magpus, a smaller size. Okay. The tentacles just entice them, helps them out. I know that's supposed to represent an octopus, but that really looks like a little squid too. Yes, a little squid. Yeah, that's a perfect size. Perfect size. It, it'll catch big fish, little fish. Mm -hmm. And then another, another large single tail. Another large single tail. This is uh, maybe about five years old, a flying fish that we've had for a while. Mm -hmm. Uh, it works good from, from calico bass to sculpin. I've caught plenty of sculpin on this color right here. Yeah, I've caught some sand bass on that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great bait. I haven't tried that rock fishing. Oh, no, it's a great bait for rock fishing also. So you like the double dropper loop rig. I like the, I've been fishing that rig forever and ever, and I do the same thing. I put the bucktails in it, but I've never tried rigging it like that with a big tail on the bottom for the lean cut, because normally when I go to dropper loop rig mode, yes. I'm trying to get my limit of fish. Yes. I figure, okay, let's get my, my limit of rock fish, and then I'll concentrate on the lean cod, or I've already caught my lean cod, yes. then I try to do that. But this rig, if you wanted to, you could put two big baits like that yes. and, and take two chances take for Take two cod. chances, yes. I mean, if I'm fishing for a rock fish, there's a chance there's a lean cod around. Mm -hmm. That's why I try to put the bigger bait on the bottom for mm -hmm. the lean cod, because you will be going through, going through, and all of a sudden somebody catches a lean cod. Mm -hmm. I want it to be me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, how do you like that the brand new HD model with the large A dot hook? Oh no, it's nice because with that with the larger hook, mm -hmm. I can I can use this with the bigger baits. And I love the larger the larger hook. Yeah, so you don't have to use a six ounce um, bucktail. You can go down to a one ounce. Yes. And and because you're using drop dropper loop rig. You don't need the big bucktail. You don't need the you don't need, you don't need the heavy heavy bucktail when you can use this one here. It's perfect. Right. But you need the big hook. You need the big hook. <laughs> the big hook. So you need that's the big a nice hook. combination. Otherwise, you'll lose that lean cod. Mm -hmm. And as far as colors, do you have a preference? Uh, I prefer either white, white, brown, or red. Red. Yes. Green so, sometimes comes into effect. But if you're only going to take three colors, those would be your three colors. Yes, yes, sir. Because yes. you have squid. Mm -hmm. The rockfish is brown or red, right. and they're down there chewing those things. And I don't know what it is about red, but even the the bucktails with red on them yes. seem to get bit really, really good. And I like the glow in the guard too for for the bucktails. It might be the red crab down there. The red crab down there, or like I said, the rockfish are eating nothing but rockfish. I mean, plenty of times I've caught scoping eating the bait the same color he is. Right. That's true. All right, well, that's good tips, man. Thank you very much. If people want more information, where can they go to see all these bucktails uh, and all the soft plastics? Uh, you can go to AA.com. 
They can order as many colors. We have plenty of colors. Okay, well, we're going to put the link down below this video here on our YouTube channel. If you want more updates on how to catch fish and stuff, make sure you subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Come join us on one of our trips. Visit their website and find out more information about the soft plastics. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you all really soon.